Hi everybody, this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online. So nice to see you today. So in this next video, I'm gonna be doing some really gentle stretches for your neck, for your shoulders, and for your back. So this is great, a really good video for you to watch if you are noticing that you tend to wake up in the morning feeling very stiff, very sore, or perhaps you've been spending time outside, maybe doing household activities, doing gardening, or maybe you're into golf and you're just finding yourself to be very tight and in, in, in a, some pain. So we're going to be starting um, our our uh, movement today just by sitting forwards on your chair. So this way you have a little bit of space behind you and we'll have more room to move. So to get started, we're going to be bringing your hands right out to your side, palms facing forwards, and we're gonna be reaching and extending the arms forwards, just like you're grabbing um, a bale of hay. <laughs> and then we're gonna lower your arms and extend those arms back. As you do, squeeze your shoulder blades back together. So we're gonna reach those arms, just coming up, just halfway, and then reach back and extend, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Breathing in here, and breathe out here. Now when we have our hands in this position, this is the anatomical position, we are in alignment, and it's a lot easier to really sit tall with good posture. Again, let's reach and back all right good let's shake those arms out and we're just going to do a nice and easy lift so bring the shoulders up to your ears and slowly lower down breathing in breathe out now don't be worried if you hear some <laughs> movement some cracking uh, some snapping hopefully it's nothing too serious <laughs> but as long as you're not feeling pain just know you may hear some sounds, and that's okay. Bring it up and down, Good. and again. Good, two more times. And one more. Awesome, all right, let's take your arms right to the side, and we're gonna be doing a nice gentle twist. So twisting at your waist, looking from side to side. Now, those of you with osteoporosis, do it just with the arms, but don't twist at your waist or your spine. Otherwise, we'll keep going. All right. And this can feel really nice on your back. Nice relief. Awesome job. And sometimes, you know, maybe you're watching this video and you're thinking, you know what, Meg, I just have not been moving. Why am I so stiff and sore? That could be another reason. Sometimes um, mo not moving can lead to more stiffness and more soreness. So I encourage you, if you just spend most of your day sitting down, not really moving or getting up off your chair, that could be a reason that you're feeling some stiffness too. If that's the case, watch more of my videos. I'm here to help. <laughs> so next, we're going to be bringing your ear towards your shoulder. Make sure your shoulders stay low. And then we're going to go very slowly back to the other side. So very good. slow, side to side. Breathing in and out. Feeling one part of your neck getting a little stretch here. The other side, that muscle is shortening. Here. Now, if you're finding this is really, really stiff, then add your other hand. And what we'll do is we're going to be flexing those fingers back. And that should help you to deepen that stretch and feel it a little bit more, even down that um, your neck into your shoulder. So let's just hold it here, breathing in and out. And then come on up. Let's do the other side. I feel like this one is really good for me right now. <laughs> uh, if you spend time like me in front of a computer for a few hours a day, you know, answering emails, whatever you're doing, playing games on your computer, then this part of your body may feel sore as well. Okay, let's bring those arms right in front, like you're going to shake someone's hand, and then we're going to be squeezing your shoulder blades back. So we're 
reach and extend and then squeeze back. It's awesome. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's do two more. And one more time. Okay, good. Give it a good shake. Notice how you're feeling. And let's do another one. We'll move back to your neck. So we're gonna look down nice and slow. And then slowly looking up towards the ceiling. Breathing in and out. And slowly up. Now, if you find that you get dizzy very easily, then what I'd recommend is just to shorten the movements. So you're looking down, but you're looking kind of on an angle in front of you. And then you're looking up, uh, or moving your head up, but you can still look forwards with your eyes. Okay, so you're not looking all the way up to the ceiling. Your head is going up, but you're still looking forwards. Good. Okay, one more time. All right, awesome, this is great. Let's move our hands right to our shoulders now and we're gonna circle those arms backwards. And what I want you to do is lift your elbows nice and high, do some big circles here. Pretend you have a marker attached to your elbow and you're doing some circles on the wall beside you. Wouldn't that be fun to clean up? <laughs> All right, let's go the other way. Kind of unrelated, but I'm just curious if any of you have had children or grandchildren that have made a mess on the wall. I've heard so many stories of little kids, you know, kind of getting up in the middle of the night, grabbing markers and scribbling all over the wall. <laughs> so a few friends who've had to paint over the mess that their children have made. <laughs> all right, let's do two more. And one. So if you do have a story, share it below. I love hearing cute little kid stories. It's so much fun. <laughs> All right. So what we'll do now is we're going to be bringing your shoulders up towards your ear. But we're going to do, just do one at a time. So you'll notice one is coming up. The other is pressing down. So it's good to isolate the, the movement in our shoulders because we really don't do this very often. But this is useful if you are putting on a jacket. We have to have that mobility, right? To bring your arm back, getting dressed in the morning as well. So maintaining that uh, your flexibility of your shoulders is great because it can help to reduce the tension you may experience. All right, we'll go for two more. And one more. All right, so we're gonna end with one of my favorites. Now, if for this next one, if you have any back issues or a fused spine, what you'll do instead is you're just gonna be shifting forward slightly, keeping your back straight, but just uh, leaning and moving up from your hips, okay? Otherwise, what we'll do is we're gonna do more of a rounding motion. So we're gonna round your back, look down, and then we're gonna do an arching motion, bringing your shoulders back, looking up towards the ceiling. This one traditionally is called the cat and the cow. Good. So again, if you're feeling like, eh, not sure about this one, your other option is just to hinge forwards very slightly and then slowly come on back. So you just don't wanna go quite as far and avoid the rounding. All right. But if you would like to do that rounding, this is your chance. You can join me here. Let's go for two more. Great, and one more time. All right, wonderful. I hope you guys are feeling really good. I know myself, I'm feeling a little bit more flexible and just feeling a little bit more relaxed. Um, so this is a great video. Please share it if you know somebody who experiences stiffness. And um, I do recommend uh, doing it again and making this part of your daily activities. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love uh, seeing you guys. I love hearing from you. So also please leave a message below and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay healthy. I'll see you later.